Hey, what's up? It's Tony. This video is about sitting when you have a catheter. I learned this the hard way because I was attempting to sit regularly, sit on my couch, sit at my desk, and it was too painful. And it's one of the things that they don't tell you or when you get a catheter put in is that in order to alleviate the pain, it's going to require a little bit of adjustment to your life. They don't know. Like I said in the video, people are telling you how to live with a catheter or not how to live with it because they never had a catheter. So what, 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 the, what, what the hell are they going to say? You know, they have no idea. I learned a couple of tricks about sitting after going through some pain, trying to sit regularly and attempting to sit at my desk. Impossible to sit at my desk. Impossible to sit where I am right now. Sitting upright, like legs like sitting straight up like this you know in a regular chair oh, what i did learn about sitting was <laughs> it was similar in alleviating the pain as if you had i guess hemorrhoids <laughs> i don't know how else to describe it you know um the same sort of the tube of the catheter, you can feel it going all the way through and down. And sitting is annoying. And so I guess it would be similar if, if you had hemorrhoids. I don't know. I've never had hemorrhoids. Nothing against hemorrhoids, but I've never had hemorrhoids. So I would suggest a couple of things. Number one is you should definitely, definitely not attempt to sit straight upright at first. It's very uncomfortable because what happens is that the catheter, right, although it's flexible, right, it will lean on your bladder, even if it's flexible, right, you will lean, it will lean on your bladder. So say this is the catheter, right, and you're sitting upright, right, it will, and this is your bladder, the inside, right, it will touch that part and it will cause some trauma to the inside of your bladder causing you to have some bleeding. You're not going to bleed out. It's not like somebody stabbed you. The tip of the catheter is rounded, but it will cause some trauma to the very delicate membrane inside the bladder. So I found that sitting back or what I refer to as sitting on your neck was much more comfortable because it kept the catheter much more straight the way it was designed as opposed to it being bent like that. So lying on your neck, let's see if I can do it. Like if I was lying on my couch like this, I found that to be really, really quite comfortable. <laughs> I know it's absurd, but it works. I found laying on my neck with the pillow propped behind me if I was laying on the couch. Oh, this way was so much better. It was just straight. There was no angle and there was no additional pain or pain in the taint. <laughs> pain in the taint. I don't know how else to say it. Pain in the taint. So, uh, don't sit, or at least I learned that it was not great to sit upright. I also found out that the pillows on your couch or the decorator pillows on your bed came in very, very handy as additional cushiness for your area underneath to make it more, much more comfortable. I mean, because listen, it, this 14 inches goes all the way in, all the way on, through your, underneath your urethra. I'm trying to skirt around saying what I want to say and I'm just going to have to say it. So what happens is that you can feel the catheter past your scrotum in that area they call it feels like it goes it feels like it's underneath your 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 taint and i found that uh using anything cushy like a pillow or added padding or something was much more comfortable while i had the catheter in so for instance Decorator pillow worked great. Extra cushion. Do not sit also too on any hard surfaces, any hard chairs, 
uh, benches, anything without extra padding, no good. Maybe you need to bring, like if you go somewhere, maybe you need to bring your own butt pillow with you because for some reason you do feel the catheter going through your body when you're sitting. So, right, you can have a pillow. Or what I found out worked really well as well was a neck pillow. I found it worked really, really great, actually. Uh, <laughs> right? I sat it on, I took this with me, you know, and put it on the couch. And actually, that was really, really great and helpful. So you kind of just position it around and your business kind of is just there and it takes away that pressure because it was pressure actually that was that was happening it was really a lot of pressure that was happening um, uh, and causing even more pain so a neck pillow came in handy and before you use it <laughs> before you use it on your neck again for travel or if you're taking a nap or if you're laying down you know maybe you know a little air, air freshener a little febreze uh you know because it went from you know down there by your ass to around your face. So a little Febreze, a little another tip that I just thought of right there. So. Another thing that I found worked really well uh, for cushioning your, your down there while you have your catheter and you're sitting, uh, if you don't have a decorator pillow or, you know, a cushion that you could use or the neck pillow, um, what I found was, which was really, really great was if you get Amazon deliveries and you get your groceries to your house, when they bring your groceries to your house, uh, the frozen stuff, right, and the stuff that needs to remain cold, it comes in this padded thing, I guess, you know what I mean? I don't know how they do it. Maybe it comes, maybe they, I don't know, right? But it's like an insulation, right? And so it looks like this, you know, and it has like your chicken or your ice cream wrapped in it and it stays cold and this is cushy. This is really super cushy. So this worked out great. So you get a couple of these. And actually, you know what, before I go on, you know what, I had to cut it open. And you know what's inside? Cushion stuff. Like, I don't know what this is. If it's, I don't know. It's like, it's seriously some cushion stuff. So this costs nothing because it comes with your groceries, right? So you take a couple of those out of the plastic so it doesn't make as much noise. And voila! like cushion, cushion for your tushion, <laughs> cushion for your tush. And this really, really, really works out great, costs you nothing, and it makes sitting so much more comfortable. So do not sit unless you have extra padding because it hurts less because of where it's located.